there's a real big problem with traditional VR, the, the sort of work that we did in the 90s, where you have a headset and it blocks out all of your view and replaces your entire field of view with either blackness or video input or you know uh, computer monitor input going to, to your eyes. There's a real problem with that, uh, a real safety issue. There's also uh, studies showing that there's, uh, for many people, they get simulator sick. So one thing that we've done is because we have these characters isolated and they're three-dimensional and they look real, they have the exact same facial expressions that they do in real life. Their clothes wrinkle as it would normally. There's no artist spending hours and hours trying to get it all perfected and never hitting the mark anyway. You're ignoring all of that. You're, 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 you're superseding all of that. Well, what happens is you're now able to drop that in and you can put the person in an environment that's right around them. So you combine the actual environment, the real environment, which helps them not get dizzy or disoriented or nauseated and helps them avoid collisions or or right, you know, any safety type of thing. So you get two big bonuses out of that. 